Let's head into the papers now, see what the headlines are in Nigeria. And I have with me public affairs analyst Ola Dein Diario, as well as social commentator Smart Akbejoye. Gentlemen, good morning. Good, good morning, morning my brother. Nice to see you. Me. Great. Let's begin with the Blueprint newspaper now. Blueprint uh, is focusing on the president. He said, few people in five states holding Nigeria's wealth says our challenges require local solutions. Nation's democracy is maturing. Okay. Few people in five states holding Nigeria's wealth. <laughs> okay. We've not seen anything. All right. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to mm. uh, look at that more too. Now, daily trust is where we go next now. Few people in five states control Nigeria's wealth, Buhari says. And nine, 94 million Nigerians poor. Oxfam is uh, revealing this. And our population, a liability. Sanusi is saying this. Okay, certainly so many economists are going to uh, have a divergent uh, opinion on this. Daily Times is where we go next now. Daily Times says how federal government will tackle population explosion. Uh, President Buhari is revealing this. It yeah, says Nigeria idea. needs local solutions to tackle economic challenges. And changing colonial mentality, key to development. Sanusi is saying this. And uh, the Nigeria Economic Summit Group to concentrate on job creation. Igodalo is uh, saying this. Okay, that's what you see on the front page of the Daily Times. News Direct is next now. And that's the last one. And it focuses on the Gulf of Guinea. And it says, Buhari vows to raid Nigeria's waters of criminals as Amaichi identifies global cooperation to end insecurity. And Dakuku advocates global response to piracy. Well, those are some of the headlines across Nigeria this morning. But I'd like to draw my guest's attention to what is going on. Social media has been a buzz yesterday, uh, from yesterday until this morning, and it's still ongoing with the Sex for Marx uh, 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 documentary that was revealed by the BBC. Now, a lot of people said this has been going on for ages. It has, and I wonder how this is going to put an end to it. But it has drawn attention to the realities of it. Uh, 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 what do you think? Well, um, when I read it, I wasn't surprised because I have two stories, you know, of a niece who was master of Lagos way back, who came to me to beg me for money to sort electoral, and I was asking in the same uni lab. Yeah, to sort. What does it mean to sort? I mean. She said um, she has to give him money in exchange for sex. Otherwise, he will fail her. And I was wondering which systems give so much license to lecturers whereby they can do and undo, uh, make or mar mm. the life of students under their watch. Another one was Nabiokuta, precisely Ogun Sebu Technique. Now, I had to go and meet the lecturer. And he was telling me, our oh, guy is not so, that's my daughter. We're just joking with her. <laughs> I had to threaten him. You know that, look, this girl should fail. I would destroy your career. We went that far. And the girl passed eventually. Oh, she had to. So he, he has to take threats from I parents and to, guardians I'm, I'm to, to I threatened have their female students that, pass exams. You know I'm a local chief here. Don't see me as a Christian. I will go the home way. <laughs> <laughs> and he knew what I meant. <laughs> so it's not, it's not in you. All right. Mm. So, Smart, the point there is, uh, we, we've seen the swift reaction from the university authority by uh, suspending the lecture on one hand and then closing or shutting down the, the cold, cold room. room yeah. The cold room <laughs> where uh, a, a lot of things is said, was said to be happening. But will the university said they are not aware of some of these things that happen? Well, first, you've, you've not heard there that the four square... Church. Church. I've also, also suspended. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've also suspended Has him. told the pastor to step down. They've asked him to step down. First, um, I have so many daughters and um, that, uh, that have passed through or that presently are even passing through Nigerian university system. And it saddens me when I saw that. But sincerely, it is not because I'm not aware that such things happen mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the university system. Again, you see, if a child refuses to do what she's supposed to do, she will be vulnerable in the hands of people like this. Mm. Because if as a child you face your studies squarely, if as a child you know why you are in school, 
honestly no like you won't you won't be a victim you won't be a victim of electoral like that but but, 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 but there is but, no there is no there's no clarity as to whether it is the students who no, are not doing well no, we are, we, I, I will, we'll come to that okay you see when you look at the system when you look at the system perhaps there is no way the VC I'm picking uni like now there is no way the VC in that is um, office at the Ivory Tower, at, the, at that um, yeah. I'm, I'm story, is it 12 story building? building yeah. We'll know what that Senate building, we know what is happening in the various departments, in the various faculty, and offices of all these things. But, however, the good thing is that they brought it to his notice and they've done the, the needful. I can tell you, Unilag. This thing is not synonymous to Unilag. No. It, is just, it is just unfortunate that it is Unilag now. And I feel bad having passed through Unilag. Also, having oh, also... You're an alum of Unilag. <laughs> well, to an extent, because I did a diploma course there okay. on, um, on industrial law, right. commercial and industrial law. And also, having at least been a consultant in the educational sector for a very short time, I feel so sad. But you see, Unilag is one of those universities that parade themselves at high extent. Mm. And Unilag does not. At a, at a point, Unilag were doing conference marking. You see, something must have happened along mm -hmm. the line. And I think Unilag will get to the top of this. You see, also, it is so glaring. What we've seen so far is so glaring. But however, I still want to tread it with caution. Let I still see this guy has been uh, innocent, uh, 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 innocent but it has been proven. Let innocent us take it with all with all the yes, videos. I still, I, because, is it not these days of um, Photoshop uh, and <laughs> what, what, what kind of? But, what kind of but, but on the other hand, too. Let, let's let's. let's yeah, but on the other hand, let's let's look at it critically. The BBC is a world-renowned media station, yes. and if it doesn't have um, authentication of these they things. They, 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 they won't put it. They won't exactly. have gone that far. Exactly. So, so th that's okay. another no, you aspect. See, that's another aspect. You see, that is where also, because I watched the video over and over again at about 2.30 uh, 2 a.m. this morning. I watched it over and mm. over again. I feel so sad yes. that, that... That's part of the video yes. on the screen I right now. So, I feel so sad that uh, it's, it's, it's a shame right. that at its level, even at the level of a senior lecturer, at the level of a senior lecturer, man, you should have, you, you should have passed through th things like this. All right. It's just unfortunate. Oh, okay. Uh, Olade, the, the point there is, we know that Unilag specifically, uh, as an institution, has a, a disciplinary mechanism exactly. within its, it's not just uh, the action we're seeing mm -hmm. now. It has a disciplinary uh, mechanism. But how will this documentary change things when it comes to stu female students reporting or coming out to say, I am being victimized by this person or being victimized by the other person? Taking you back to the social media, there have been so many informed and uninformed comments and recommendations. There have been so many informed and uninformed comments and recommendations. Oh. Some went as far as saying that um, we should install cameras all over the places. Mm -hmm. Some said they should ban students from going to the offices of lecturers, mm -hmm. that their interface should start and end in the lecture theater or in the classroom, mm -hmm. whereby not creating room or space for a lecturer who is randy now to try uh, um, the student. In the same way um, that they must raise the level of lecturers reporting, when, because some said they attempted the question is, how do you now surrender to temptation of that level? You understand me? Because that girl should have been his granddaughter, not even daughter now. Look at the age difference, OK? Uh, maybe I will say this. We were somewhere discussing about um, psychics yesterday. And somebody said, because our daughter, his daughter is 28, he will naturally not chase anybody below 30. You know, that's his that, own... That was his own resolution. Yeah, man. <laughs> but you see, this thing has become so entrenched, that become like a cancer. Remember, if a university professor in OAU is in jail now for a very similar thing. He was also caught hands down. That's where I told my brother off camera that um, the guy, for all I care, is as guilty as charged. 
Let's not decorate or dress it in trying to find him a soft landing. The harder we go, the better for all of us. Mm. These things have to stop. So you like must raise the bar, okay, in effecting disciplinary measures and in punishment. Remember I mentioned to you recently about Nigeria being a nation of no consequence. People do things and then they escape, depending on who you know are your contacts, mm. okay? But when people know, like in criminal things, if you can do the crime, they have to do the time if you are caught. All right. So it's a choice that he has made. You should live with it and the consequence. All right. Uh, smart. Uh, that is not... It, it, what has happened now doesn't mean that we don't also have female students who try to seduce and entice their lecturers. It, it also happens. It also happens. But, but in, this, in this situation, the, the point there is that the lecturer is, is, is in a position of higher advantage than a student at exactly. any point in, in time, time yeah. whatever it is. So the point there is, what do you think should be the solution to these things? This, 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 in, this kind of uh, interrelationship <laughs> that... Uh, I interacted with a lecturer, some, uh, I think at uh, Indiana State um, University, mm. He said it's a different thing if a female student, if you choose to go out for a drink or to hang out, that it has nothing to do with your academics. Mm. It has nothing to do with the classroom affairs. Right. That yeah. it's a different thing that you choose to take me out for a drink. It's a different thing that we are going out for, we are, going, we are hanging okay, out, really and it has nothing to do with, with, your, with, 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 your, with, your, with your academics. Mm. I think... You see, we have, a, we have a moral deficit, moral decadence, and it is every day it keeps increasing. Okay. Honestly, there is no clear-cut solution to this, but uh -huh. the only way, the only way is that perhaps the, lecture, the university system must introduce conference marking to every, you understand? And they set up their question in the, in the conference room that you bring us, you bring your questions, and collectively they do it, they, they will bring it up. I also did it that two hours, even one hour to the, to the exam. Nobody knows, Nobody the, knows question. the question that yeah. is going to come out. You've set up this thing, and before you just know, they will not set it up, and even they will start printing it. All right. And as they are printing so, it, they are bringing it to the classroom. Mm. And if they are going to do marking, they are going to do conference marking. All right. So there is so, no so, way. So there's no interface. There is no, there is no interface. One on one between the two. All right. We, we have to end it here now. Minimal. Yeah, we have to end it here now. Smart Akwejo, thank you very much for coming on the program. And Oladin uh, Dario, thank you so much for coming as well. Thank you. All right, so many issues are okay. on the front pages of the newspaper this morning. But uh, then uh, let's quickly <laughs> take a look at those stories making the headlines on the Nigerian newspapers. I have with me in the studio a public affairs analyst, Olad Dende Ario, and social commentator, Smart Akwaji. Gentlemen, good morning. Thanks for good joining morning. us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning, Breakfast. And thank you for having All me. All right, now we'll head straight to the papers, and I begin with uh, the blueprint. Uh, Buhari, few people in five states holding Nigeria's wealth, says our challenges requires uh, local solutions, nation's democracy maturing. And we move on to the front page of the Daily Trust. Few people in five states control Nigeria's wealth. Buhari says 94 million Nigerians poor Oxfam, a population, a liability. Sanusi. And on the front page of the Daily Times, how federal government will tackle population expulsion. Buhari says Nigeria needs local solutions to tackle economic challenges. Changing colonial mentality key to development. Sanusi. Uh, NESG National Economic Summit uh, Group to concentrate on job creation. Igodalu. On the front page of News Direct, Gulf of Guinea, Buhari vows to read Nigeria's waters of criminals as Amechi identifies global cooperation to end insecurity. Dakuku advocates global response to piracy. To the Daily Sun, now Nigeria's poverty situation worsens. Oxfam puts 94 million people in extreme poverty, nation's health in hands of few Buhari. To the Vanguard, uh, at the 25th uh, National Elec Nigeria Economic Summit uh, Group, few people in five states, FCT or Nigeria's wealth, Buhari says uh, we must promote inclusiveness for collective prosperity. And finally, on the front page of this day newspaper, 
Two months after Sakoto Zamfara Katsina count gains of amnesty for bandits, attacks uh, subside, 477 hostages released, 218 guns, including AK-47, SMG surrendered, Kaduna, others yet to implement deal. All right, gentlemen, we will we'll be looking at uh, the story that has been making the rounds, generating a lot of buzz uh, on social media and across uh, Nigeria, which has to do with the documentary by the BBC on exposing uh, the sex for marks. Uh, some lecturers uh, in that uh, video and uh, some have said that uh, perhaps the lecturer in question who was dismissed by the University of Lagos should be kept uh, under protection so, such that uh, he be watched because uh, the okay. kind of opera that okay, we are seeing said is, uh, Ms. Dimeno, yes, might uh, lead, uh, lead him to, to commit suicide. Yeah. Uh, what do you, let's start from that point yeah, of it's view. A, it's, a, it's a possibility. Why? Because for him, it's a double jeopardy. Apart from being a lecturer in a cell of knowledge, he's also a pastor okay, in a Christian organization especially a church noted for high standards, mm. okay? But for all I care, there are certain behaviors that convert a human being to an animal. Mm. So when you, a man old enough to be the girl's grandfather, 17 years old. Yes, could see her only as a sex object, not as a daughter or a youth that needs to be nurtured and helped to grow, he doesn't deserve to live. He doesn't deserve oh, to yeah. live. He went too far. So many young girls have been so defiled, have been so debased, uh, so much that their psyche has been remained permanently damaged. That when they finally get into adulthood, can no longer manage both their sex life, marriage, and relationship with men, mm. arising from these experiences. I have had to meet a lot of them through several platforms. And I'm talking from my experience. I've had to work with the um, so a police station here where they handle um, rape and related cases. Because for me, this is another case of rape. Mm. The girl is not being given the chance to choose. Okay? And at 17, constitutionally, she's not, Underaged. She's not an adult mm. that can take the decision on her own. I would have expected that the, the, the lecturer in Ife, the professor, who was also a man of God anyway, that's presently serving a jail term, should have been a lesson for men Appa like this. Apparently, the, this, that wasn't a lesson. A exactly. So, so it begs the question, exposures like this, are they really making the impact that um, we <laughs> are looking for? Like he said, that position, it behoves on him to serve as more like he was a pastor and he was the, the, the head of a department. Yeah. So such kind of attitudes shouldn't be found in him. See, as a lecturer, you are supposed to be the legal custodian. He's supposed to be the legal custodian of that child or of that girl while in that school. You see, that is why most of us we probably, most of, these, most of these children, they probably respect their teachers, respect their, uh, their aunties at school, even more, more than, than their, their own parents. parents, because they see them as more of an alpha omega. If as a lecturer, I'm coming to the, the pastoral angle, if as a lecturer, at that young girl, if that is all you have to, taught, to teach her, then it is sad. It is sad that now, you see, it, the way, the way the, uh, I, I've watched the video, the guy was not doing it for the first time. Mm -mm. Obviously. You will, see, you will see perhaps that has been his, his, uh, practice. his, 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 his lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And he was doing it with every, with, he, threw, he threw Dr. Rome away. Oh. Even preaching God <laughs> mm. on his way. To, in that, yeah. even in that, you know? in that act. Now, let us now go. You see, I respect all churches, but to a large extent, if you say you are from four square, I'll probably look at you and have more respect for you because, because you see, their lifestyle, even their churches, is different from all other Orthodox, all, all, all other Pentecostal churches. Obviously, it's no but longer obviously. about the lifestyle now. No, it is no, about no. how much the individual allows the world to, to transform them. You see, exactly. you can now see 
if at that level as a pastor, I can imagine even he must have been doing so in his church. <laughs> because if in the school you could do that, then as a pastor, then you probably would have done worse. Mm. I can't just imagine. That is why, first I must commend also um, Foursquare for, for at least, for, make, for suspending him. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. And also Unilag, I think it must go beyond this. Mm. And you see, it will not stop it. Because they will, just, just like when you talk about arm robbery, I remember one day, we went to watch public execution at Kirikiri. That was a long as we were, time ago. As we were coming from Kirikiri, we still, we, some people were still caught for robbing <sighs> in the daytime. So I now asked, as a small boy then, I now asked, this was in the 70s, I said, do you mean with what oh, we have gone to yeah. <laughs> watch, you saw somebody being publicly executed, for firing robbery. squad, and you again? So, so if, if it won't stop it, this is alarming and worrisome because we talk about girl child education mm -hmm. and the ones that now have the opportunity to get into school are now being violated, now being violated yeah. which is also challenging their staying in schools. In school, this exactly. has far reaching implications. Uh, it's all took off from when we started allowing our value system to depreciate to a point where they've been completely eroded. We now we no longer have um, value, nothing else. Again, we grew up having people that we were looking up, up to, to as mentors. We wanted to copy them, mm. their lifestyles, their career, you know, track. But all of these things are very unavailable. I had to sit my daughter down yesterday. She watched the video and I was asking her, let me know your views. Mm. Our first talent was, and is a man of God. So this goes to show that progressively we are destroying the myth, the respect and honor attached to the church, the, the, I mean, as, as organization yeah. and to pastors and the leaders of, of thought in the church as a set of people, yeah. which for me is very bad. Number two, um, we've been a no consequence country. Mm. People do things and get away depending on who they know. And okay. this is, you know, helping the, the, the culture of silence? A, a, the culture of impunity and okay. silence. Okay. So for me, this exposure will go a long way, okay? It can be stopped in a day. It didn't start. It's a process that has grown over the years to become the monster that it is today. But the more that I get exposed, the more that I get punished. I can and assure it you. It does happen everywhere. There was a case sometime of, of a police Quick, officer. Quickly, we don't have m yeah, much the, time. Yeah, the of time. Because uh, I I'd really want us to talk about the issue of the culture of silence and support systems. Because most of the victims say they cannot speak because they do not get it's, the support. It's the same see, thing that happens to rape victims. No, you see, the fact is that, you see, right now, the awareness is becoming higher. Mm -hmm. Because before now, you hardly hear of rape cases. Mm -hmm. But now it's becoming... Is becoming people are beginning to hone up to talk to report rape cases and i hope this, that is why where the social media has done well mm -hmm. even though social media has done more evil than to, to news some cases reporting than mm -hmm. but however in this area the social media is really helping us because you see some person that they, they will just come out and say it on social media mm -hmm. and before you know it it will trend and that person will be apprehended so it's right. just unfortunate, but the awareness is getting higher. All right, gentlemen, we need to leave it at this point. Thank you so much for your contribution on the topic this morning. Thank you. All right, it's time for the paper review now. And let's see what the headlines are across uh, papers in Nigeria. And I have with me in the studio, Oladin De Ario. He's a political analyst, a social analyst, as well as a commentator, Olatun Bosin Shufora. Thank Gentlemen, you. nice to see you both. Same, Same here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Right, let's start from uh, Blueprint newspaper this morning, and it focuses on the president, and it says uh, the president is saying few people in five states holding Nigeria's wealth. It says our challenges require local solutions. Nation's democracy maturing. Okay, that's what you see on the front page of the Blueprint newspaper, and I guess uh, this will interest my guest to talk about this morning. Daily Trust is where we go next. Now, few people in five states control Nigeria's wealth, Buhari says. 94 million Nigerians are poor. Oxfam is releasing this information. And our population 
uh, liability. Sanusi is saying this. Okay. Uh, Daily Trust is where we go next. Oh, sorry, Daily Times is where we go next now. Daily Times says uh, how federal government will tackle population explosion. President Buhari saying this. Says Nigeria needs local solutions to tackle economic challenges. Changing colonial mentality, it's a key to development. Sanusi is saying this. And the Nigeria Economic Summit Group to concentrate on job creation. Igodalu is saying this. All right. News Direct is the next paper we go to now, and it focuses on the Gulf of Guinea. Buhari vows to rid Nigeria's waters of criminals as Amechi identifies global cooperation to end insecurity, and Dakuku advocates a global response to piracy. And uh, you recall that uh, the summit is holding in Nigeria. All right. From there, let's go to the Daily Sun. Daily Sun says uh, Nigeria's poverty situation worsens. Oxfam puts 94 million people in extreme poverty and Nigeria's wealth in hands of few. Uh, Buhari is saying this. Okay, from the Daily Sun, let's go to the Vanguard now. The Vanguard is next. At the 25th Nigeria Economic Summit Group, few people in five states, FCT, own Nigeria's wealth. Buhari, President Buhari is revealing this and says, we must promote inclusiveness for collective prosperity. Okay, all right, now let's uh, move from there now to this day. This day newspaper uh, is the next one now and he focuses on, uh, it says, two months after Sokoto Zamfara Katsina count gains of amnesty for bandits and attacks subsidize our oh, attacks subside rather 477 hostages released 218 guns including ak-47 smg surrendered kaduna others yet to implement deal okay gentlemen uh several of the papers today oh. focus on the president's uh declaration uh, saying that a declaration? Uh, few people in five <laughs> states a control? declaration yeah okay let's let's let, okay let's make it a declaration, <laughs> a declaration <yeah. laughs> because when the president makes a statement it has power behind it, it, it. has power it has authority mm -hmm. it has revelation it has uh, motivation and it has more importantly is believed to be highly informed okay of course he's not oh. even believed. he has the access has, he's to the president has to he has the, access the, to the information access to information which we may not have land. okay fine so if the president says this few people in about four or five states own the wealth of nigeria <laughs> and the remaining people in the rest 31 states are languishing. I'm trying to use his words there, yeah. languishing in poverty. Yeah. I, I wonder how this comes to you. you are uh, wondering. Oladine, let's start with you on this. You are wondering. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, wondering how this comes to you. A system that gives an individual ownership now of an oil well, which normally should be considered a national commonwealth and patrimony, has planted that possibility. A nation where people easily now become politically empowered and enamored that they can appropriate our resources has opened the door for all of that. Yeah. I would have wished that he took a little bit uh, more sense by telling us which states he's talking to. Because if he mentions Lagos, I will tell him that Lagos as of today is in economic crisis. The report is out there <laughs> that we're looking for 500 billion bond to pay debts. So whatever he has said. But, but he, he was referring to persons, not, not, not the states. states. Exactly. No, no, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. When you say states, it's constituted yeah. of people, mm. not animals. Mm. And within the constituents are human beings like me and you. So we must remove the fascist, as the lawyers will say, so that we can see the, the people behind the mask. Don't be deceived like the children of old who think uh, masquerades are from heaven. Right. No, they are oh, not. All right. <laughs> uh, Boston, the point there is... I'll take a different view. Okay. Because um, what is the president trying to say? In any society, wealth is always constituted. In the hands in the of fewer a few. Hands. Yeah. So you could, everybody can have it. So is he trying to push us towards socialism? Like, okay, take over the world and 
Because he's always had this But would that be fair to the people who have worked hard exactly. to earn their money? If, because if that is the, the same, case. You have the same thing in the U.S. where, the, you know, as part of campaign strategy, some will come, try to give you like uh, a capitalist slash socialist engagement kind of campaign. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you that, okay, we'll task the rich so that the poor can have. It's not any, it's not any, uh, well, for me to have money, that is my own cup of tea. For you to be poor, it's your own cup of tea. Work towards it and make money. That's fine. The capitalist tendency, you may call it, but mm -hmm. if you flip mm -hmm. it, I think that's where the president is going because with all this, some of these phony policies about you deposit money in the bank and they start removing your money, it's my money mm -hmm. and I'm putting it in the bank. So saying wealth is in five states in the hands of few people and so... <laughs> are you saying it's illegal? That's are you it. saying they got their money in an awkward way? Or That's are you it. saying ah. that they looted the com country to okay. get this money? So it, the statement is loaded in the sense How? that what is no. he trying to achieve with it? Mm -hmm. What is he trying to tell us? That, okay, now that the money is in the hands of these few people in a few states, then are we collecting it? Or are you going to come up with policies to make sure that they don't have this money again? <laughs> it's not anybody's problem that they made money. <laughs> you are okay. Uh, 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 I day. agree with you. Uh, okay. But All you right. see, there is something to it. The huge disconnect that has happened here between government and the government mm. is an evil element that made this possible. Whereby, if you have a big man in government, your chances of making money is enhanced. We can't deny that. Secondly, the disadvantaged people of Nigeria, the so-called common people, they have been so positioned in that what they just do is to earn a living a day, i.e. what they earn today, they consume tomorrow. Mm. So if they don't work tomorrow, a subsistence, they may uh, subsistence living. God bless you. Mm. Subsistence, uh, subsistence ex and existential living. Yeah. That is not, I mean, or existence. That, 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 that has, no, has no, it has no value. Mm. It has no weight. Yes, they are not living. So they just exist. They just existing. Well, you see, you see, and sorry. that's what the man is talking about. Okay. And he if understand I, what he's okay. saying. But, 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 but uh, if we have to look at it, uh, Bosso, uh, critically, is there a way the president or the government? can inspire, galvanize these people to redistribute wealth in such a way that people benefit from See, this. Let me tell you the truth. If we want to be real, this government, this particular government, mm. is out of ideas to Whoa. move, to move <laughs> this economy <laughs> forward. Whoa. I'm serious. Whoa. And uh, you could take that to the bank. Look at all the policies. They, there's been so much inconsistencies in what they've been doing. Now, and at the end of the day, that's why I said, what is the president trying to do with this statement? Now, okay, there's money in the hands of few people. And so? <laughs> Should we go after what, is, what has the government done? There's no populist, there's no, there's no, there's no policy, economic policy, that favors, that favors young people. Look, look at part of what they said. They said, our, our population is a liability. Where in the, world, in the world is population it's a liability? Asset. Look at China. It's an asset. Look at what they be an asset. You know, now then you, you look at this. I, I don't know if we're allowed to talk about this, but you shut down borders. All right, you have not provided what people will eat within, inside. Within, then you have yes. stopped what is coming. You're killing people. <laughs> well, as far as that is concerned, they say they want to use the time to encourage local production. Have you? you have you, you, you encouraged is the environment on? You have not given me what to have eat. Power? You are telling me of future. We live in the now. No, but so, I'm not living in the future. But so, <laughs> what right. has been done now to enhance production? Nothing. When. I want to start a barbing salon. Mm. Ordinarily, the first the thing that we buy says, the government should be says, a clipper. The government says well, here, it's, it's a social intervention <laughs> program will we'll start businesses amongst people. They have, they've been distributing 10,000 naira for hey, market women. You are not distributing <laughs> 10,000 right, let's, 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 let's leave you here. Let's leave you here now. Oh, my, 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 my. Mike. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Oladeo Bosu, thank you very much for coming. My pleasure. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Right.